I've looked at Saiyan's numbers and all the other guys' numbers. <laughs> I'm going to do another podcast and a show where I explain everything, but I wanted to get back to what my mission is as far as YouTube. Hey, Wendy, how are you doing? Kevin Love, I see you. Um, as far as what I'm doing, because it's been almost a year now. It's been almost 12 months since I've started YouTube. I've had this YouTube channel because I set it up through my email address for a little bit, but I actually started YouTube 12 months ago. And when I started YouTube, I was doing basically, uh, and I've, I've talked about this before, reviews on Shark Tank episodes um, on my green screen back here. And I would comment, do commentary on that, which I enjoyed for a couple of weeks and it got really stale, very boring. And then I started doing um, some To Catch a Predator stuff um, and some other things. But real quickly, I switched to uh, Howard Stern TV stuff. I started playing a lot of Howard TV shows. I made almost 400 videos of Howard TV stuff behind me, comment, doing, providing commentary on this stuff. So it was something that nobody's ever done, really, with Howard Stern uh, show material. And I've decided to do that, and I, I did that a year ago. I started on YouTube. Now, it's a slow process because it, it really is a niche. Um, YouTube, how it works and... The advertising things like that and making money off of it uh, you really have to do something that is a little bit more uh, mainstream and more trending it's very it's, it's very much about who gets the information out there quicker just like any sort of um, internet uh, sort of uh, article or you know ragtag sort of uh, like TMZ radar online they're all trying to get people to a news like CNN, Fox, whoever gets the story out there quicker, uh, the trending topics, uh, then you start winning. Then you start getting a lot of views, a lot of watch times and things like that. But the thing with YouTube is that you have to be a little bit interesting. You have to be, um, you have to have some sort of pre presence and presentation in order to be successful. And I was kind of on that road a little bit. I was learning I was doing things with Howard TV thing and it was doing fine. Um, and then you get road blocks and things like that that you have to go about with. Um, but the thing with YouTube is for the past six months, I've been doing this uh, podcast, which I truly enjoy. I really enjoy doing this sort of format and shows and stuff like that. It's, it's a pretty drag uh, when you do it for every single day, pretty much six days a week and you go for like anywhere from four hours to six hours up to nine hour shows per evening it it becomes a drag um and during those times i i don't make money off youtube and it wasn't the initial sort of thing that i wanted to do originally on youtube or set out to do um i just kind of fell into it so, and I still, I, I love it, but it's like, uh, there's a lot of, I, I think I've, I've lost focus on my YouTube channel where it stopped growing. So it's like, I, I, it's a struggle because I got to go back and like, think of like other things that I need to do. Should I go back to Howard TV commentary? Should I, you know, which is a, a totally a niche dying market. Um, or do I go and do other things? So today I started doing some NBA stuff and, you know, and it takes time to grow an audience. It takes time to grow, um, I guess, a presence with YouTube. That's just how it is. Um, so there's a lot of things that I'm going to be going through, experimenting with on my YouTube channel, um, particularly, um, specifically just for the YouTube channel. Now the podcast is totally separate from whatever I do. Um, I really enjoy what I'm doing here. Um, but I have to be honest with you. It takes, it takes time away from a lot of things that I, I normally should be doing as a person that is a YouTuber 
or someone who wants to um, do this full time as for a living. You know what I'm saying? So, um, without getting too personal, um, I, I do have to switch things up as far as uh, what I'm going to be doing with my YouTube channel. And, um, and I, I'm not sure how it's going to affect me directly with the podcast and things like that and um, how I'm going to incorporate all these things. Uh, because honestly, there's like today I did about, I don't know, three or four videos on the NBA and I could have probably done more. So if I wasn't doing this, I would probably still, I would stall, I would record NBA stuff or whatever I wanted to do whatever I decided to do, whether it's trending topics or politics or news, uh, I would put a lot of effort into that just as I put effort into here. So, uh, but it's going to take away from all of this, which I love and I am not going to give up on. So, um, but the direction is going to change for me as far as what I'm going to put out there because I've seen that the growth has been stale a little bit. Um, although, um, you know, I just want to reach a bigger audience, um, with my YouTube channel and I I've lost focus on that part of it. So it's hard to balance both. You know what I'm saying? There's not enough time in uh, throughout the day where I, I could literally work on both things and be successful at it. So it it's going to take some time to sort of, um, uh, figure out. Um, and I've been thinking about it for a long time. I've been thinking about how I'm going to execute, um, and, and things of that nature, because it's either you got to do one or the other. I don't know who does both. I, I mean, this, uh, it's just a lot of, uh, work and effort that you have to put into it. That's why you don't see anybody. Like if you look at Saiyans entertainment or you look at unbleached, they, they're probably on once a week or twice a week. If that, you know? If I'm on every day and I'm, I'm, I'm barely, if it, let's say I did an hour, that would be so easy. But if I did hours and hours of content and just sitting here talking all the time, um, it's a lot of uh, work and effort to put in uh, to something that doesn't generate a whole lot of income. Um, and, and that's the whole thing. It's like to kind of balance all these things, it's, it's, it's really difficult. But I appreciate everybody who's been so supportive of everything that I've been doing uh, these past six months since I started this kind of podcast format or live video webcast format. Um, it's been a tremendous blessing and, and I'll never take that for granted. And I'm so grateful and, and um, for everybody. Um, but uh, uh, that that's just my thoughts on the whole YouTube thing because I, I feel like uh, most people I don't think a lot of YouTubers come clean with how they come about um, explaining certain things. They don't tell you the process. They don't explain that stuff. I'm pretty transparent with <clears throat> what I do. And, uh, um, you know, I look at analytics. I look at certain statistics that, um, you know, from way back when I first started to now, and uh and i see the sacrifices that are made not only by myself but from you guys because you put a lot of time in here um to listen or to participate so i really appreciate that <clears throat>